OK, joining us live now is the founder and president of the Alma Centre, Sarit Zahavi. Um, Sarit, good to have you with us. Thank you. Again, we, we spoke to you just a few weeks ago and you did warn us about this widening war that you say is already underway. Then this happened. How much bigger could this thing get? First, I just want to put a few details set uh, from the news today. Uh, it's been 12 children that were killed by a Hezbollah rocket that was manufactured by Iran. You could see in the reporter's uh, images that there was a shelter behind, but as he said, they didn't have the time to run for shelter. Hezbollah claimed responsibility for the attack, and once it learned that it was Druze who were killed, which means that it's a lot of criticism inside Lebanon as well, they denounced and backed their own claiming of responsibility. They published a map of the area they attacked. On top of the mountain that you showed, there are uh, Israeli IDF bases. This was their target. But they are using inaccurate weapons during the whole conflict. And that's how they are uh, damaging again and again and again Israelis, civilian Israelis, and uh, as you saw, the incident with the Druze over there. So this is not new, and this has been going on in the past uh, 10 months. I don't know how this is going to play out. It seems like the Israeli government is about to make tough decisions of a, a response. But I think there is a big, bigger question behind it, because the question is not only around a response issue. The question is around how do we change the strategic situation on Israel's north that is under attack by a terrorist organization named Hezbollah. That's, that's the true question. So, I mean, what, what's the suitable response here? Because if you go big, then Hezbollah, then it's on, isn't it? So, again, it, uh, the discussion should not be about the response. The discussion should be what's, what's the solution? How are we going to finally bring security to the people of northern Israel? And I'm one of them. Mm. It's impossible to live like that. And I can tell you that... The Druze that are living in this community uh, are saying very clearly they demand the Israeli government, not a response, they demand the Israeli government security. And security is not just response, it's something wider than just an offensive. An offensive is one part of it. But the, the bigger question is how this offensive is going to end, with what kind of arrangement, and how international community is going to fit into all of that, because it's clear that it's not just a local conflict. This is something that has global meanings. It does. Yep. Okay. Sarit Zahavi, uh, we're out of time, but thank you for your time again. We'll talk to you again soon.